Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. Hey, I just wanted to ask, what's in a word? What's in a word? Well, an O and an R and a D and a W. An O and an A, because it's A word. Yeah, that's what's a word. Yep, yep, I'm a genius. Oh, Lord. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I was going over the word gentleman. And I, the word just stuck with me. I just... Something just said gentlemen. And I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Interesting. So I said, wait a minute. Could this word be derived from the word Gentile man? And so I started doing some research, and all of them said gentlemen comes. It's an old French word. Gentile horn. Gentile man. Uh, is any man of good and courteous, blah, blah, blee, blah, blue, blah, 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 blam. And I said, oh, snap, I was wrong. And then you know what I did? I said, uh, um, I ain't stopping. So I said, etymology? Come and talk to me. And, 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 and it said, I really want to see you. Come and talk to me. Oh, I really want to know. And so it said, here it is. So this is the etymology. 12th century BCE, so it can't mean Gentile. Gentle man, the compound probably is modeled after the old French. Gentile homie. Homie, what up? And that just simply means gentle gangster. Okay? What up, homie? Yeah, man, I heard you were gentle. Yeah, yeah, you know. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go back a little bit further, okay? Gentle, Gentile, well-born, noble rank. Oh, that sounds, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Since evolved, in English and French, having the character or manner of one of noble rank or both, varying according to how those were defined. From the mid-13th century, or 12th century, excuse me, 14th century, that's 14th century, um after the common era in english gracious kind now obsolete manner prescribed for christians oh snap christians ladies and gentlemen, hold on let's do this uh, wait, let, let, let's do this let's do the christian thing it says grateful brother uh oh all their sense remains in gentile men and compared to Gentile, the adjective form, which tends to keep the biblical sense of the Latin word through Gentile in Middle English, sometimes meant pagan, heathen. So you can be a gentleman all you want. Ladies and gents. <laughs> anyway, and Gentile, which is the same word borrowed from French, from 1823 as pertaining to the fairies. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and explain that gentleman in its original context meant Gentile man, man of the nations, a pagan, a heathen, literally. It just, nobody wants to be called something negative, so they always switch it around and call it something positive if you don't believe me just go back and look at history go back and look at history you see in order to appease people of color they went from calling them slaves which is what they called them then they just say hey hey hold on now we ain't gonna just be calling y'all slaves we gonna call y'all black and they like what the and they say all right all right, all right we're gonna change it again then a hundred years so let's call y'all negroes Okay, so y'all gonna be nig grows because that's what y'all do when y'all multiply. Y'all just keep growing. Yeah, look at them nig growing. Okay, and so then after they came up with nig grows, they say, hey, nah, uh we gonna give y'all a descriptive name. Whew, we gonna call y'all African Americans. So y'all gonna be called African Americans, and y'all gonna love it. Y'all even gonna start calling yourselves African Americans. And you're gonna be putting it down on paper like we're getting mad or something. Put it on contract. So you're gonna accept African American. 
because we tired of making these changes. And that's what they did. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to share something with you about the common law. Um, where if you type in common law in the dictionary, let me tell you what you're going to get. We can go back about six. There it is right there. No, I don't want the Roman common law. I, I put the question I asked was common law. What did it mean to the people back then? Now, because, you know, because, see, the courts tell you common law it basically is court opinion. See, centuries following a common law system is typically those, and the original source of the common law system can be traced back to the courts. I promise you that's what it's going to say. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a lie. I can prove it's a lie. Common law has no statutory basis. Of course it doesn't. It wasn't invented by Congress. It's not regulated by Congress, nor is it regulated by the courts. Common law existed before Rome, and it will continue to exist. Can we, 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 that's all, folks. Can we have a little short story? I like stories. All right, we're going to tell you guys about this story. There's a story about a woman, and, 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 and she, she's with this man. A man? A man. Ladies and gentlemen, this woman and this man come together, but I'm going to tell you all how they come together. This man and this woman come together. They get married, y'all, and they have two children both men well they don't have men they have you know their children they grow up to be men and so when these two children grow up they marry these two women they marry these two women and when they marry these two women they happy but then one of them died one of the men left one of the women without a husband and the other man died right after that left him without a her without a husband so now you got uh oh now the papa died. Now you got all three women. They ain't got no husband. They just just out there just like, oh, what we gonna do? What's me? Can't pay no rent. Can't. Oh, I can't work. Oh Lord, help me. And, and so and so they 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 say, hey 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 hey. Y'all see that everybody hurting right now. It's the end times. It's a famine. Let's take off. We are gonna run. Yeah, we gonna go. We gonna go over to Mo's house. So they went over to Mo's house and they stayed in Mo's house for ten years. And 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 then and then and, 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 and the mother, the one whose husband died, the, the father, she said, "Hey, I'm going back to my land, my home, because we have a policy that no matter how long we stay away, that's our land permanently, unless we sell it and there's proof we sold it. Other than that, it remains ours permanently throughout our family generations." So say, "I'm going back," and the other two said, "Hey, we're going back with you. We ain't got nothing here. You've been with us all this time." You've been watching over us, taking care of us, talking to us, helping us through the good times and bad times. So they say, we're going to go with you. And so they went with her. And on the road, she said, no, no, y'all, I'm too heavy of a burden for y'all. I done grown old and everything. Y'all need to go and get married, have children, be happy. And they said, we ain't leaving you. We ain't got time for happiness. We'd rather be miserable with you. She's like, oh, that's so sweet. And they said, well, it ain't as sweet as you think. Okay. Wait, hold on. What's, what's going on? Oh, you asleep? That's the, the dog. I thought, you know, because they just got my attention to get sprayed down. See, what they do is they have me spray them with a mist of water. Then they go to sleep. Then they dry out. Then they ask me to spray them again. But he's uh, asleep. <laughs> Hadn't done that before in a long time. All right. So now they're they, they on the road. And she's like, look, I, I, I just don't want to be a burden to y'all. So y'all going back home? I got this. These other people we with, they gon' they gonna see to it that I get home so I ain't gotta worry about me. Go back to your family. And one of them, one of them, she went back to her family. Yeah, her name was Okra. And Okra went back to her family. But Tooth, she she stayed with the other woman. Yeah, her her, her the other woman, the mother, she, man, her name was Kamomi. Yeah, Kamomi. Kamomi was she was just alright. And so she told Tooth, hey, I told you going back. She says, uh-uh, wherever you go, I'ma go. Because we're bosom buddies. They're going to make a movie about us one day. And she's like, movie? What's that? Don't worry about it. And so they go on back to her home, and they get there, and they she gets her land back. But the problem is, ain't nothing growing. It's just land. So now she ain't got nobody to till the land or nothing. And Ruth, she, I mean, you know, she, she can't do it. Yeah, that's right. You heard me say Ruth. I'm talking about Ruth and Naomi and uh, that Oprah person. It's not Oprah. <laughs> it's Oprah. But, you know, 
because of the television icon, they call her Oprah. But her name is not Oprah. It's Oprah. And so, hey, don't worry about it. Go ahead and figure out how to pronounce it. But it ain't Oprah. It ain't okra either. Ah! And so when they get there, they're staying together. And in the time that they lived, there was this thing called gleaning, where they got to glean fields. And so she says, look, my family's pretty big. And because you were the wives of my sons, we have this law that says that your brother-in-law, if there's one remaining, He's got to marry you because he's got to keep the family name going. And so you just be patient. And uh-oh, weren't too many. They all old and everything. She don't want to be down on an old, decrepit person. She already around Naomi. That's old enough, huh? And so she goes to work in the field. Brings back a lot of food because the man who owns the field gives her a lot of food and say, here, take this back with you. Yeah, I done heard about you and how you taking care of Naomi. So you take this on back because I know Naomi and that's a good woman. That's a real good woman. I ain't going to tell you I'm related to her because I don't want you to know that. And so she takes the food back and Naomi like, wait, who gave you all this? Did you get all this? Somebody gave it to you, right? And she said, yeah. Are you sure? Do I need to go and check? Because, you know, I, we don't take near no thieves around here. Okay, they, they put them to death. They cut off arms, feet, legs, eyes, and tooth. So, you, Miss Tooth, you don't want to be still. Oh, you didn't steal it? Who gave it to you? Boaz. What? You? No, shut your mouth. Boaz? Man, do you know how long it's been since I've seen Boaz? How's he doing? Oh, snap. You know, that's one of your repurchasers. And she's like, no, he didn't say nothing to me. He says, well, no, uh-uh, you just he. Ooh, wait, that's a rich man. You gonna stumble into something, man. So she like, well, I don't know, because he told me to work in his field, and he told his men not to sit up there and mess with me, leave me alone. And, 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 and he told me I can glean and glean and glean. And so I'm a glean, and I'm gonna bring back food for you. Oh, you shucking now. You sure do that for me, all right? Said, but hold on now. He's one of your repurchases I mentioned. So tell you what you're going to do. You're going to go through his little gathering tonight because they sitting up there bringing in the harvest, and they're going to have themselves a little party. So what you're going to do is you're going to wait till he gets drunk, and you're going to follow him to his tent. And then you're going to put a gun to his head, and you're going to say, hey, give me, give me everything you got. No, no, you ain't going to do that. No, no, you ain't going to do that. I'm sorry, baby. That That's not what I need you to do. You're just going to tell him, hey, you go, you, while he's asleep, you're going to uncover his feet. Ain't going to say nothing. You're just going to wait for him to wake up because he's going to get cold. Yeah, this is the harvest time, so he's going to be cold. And, and, and when he gets up, he's going to sit up there and say, hey, who are you? And that's when you're to tell him who you is. She's like, all right, I got you. I got you, no, I got you. And so she goes and exactly what she told her to do. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a reason for that story out of all the stories that I could tell you. Let me explain this story to you this way. Those of you who care to understand about common law, open back up. Sorry, the app looks like it wants to stay down. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make this full screen. It says Naomi, her mother-in-law. Now said to her daughter, Ought I not to look for a resting place for you? It may go well with you. And now, is not Boaz with the young men, or excuse me, young women, you have continued? Our kinsmen? Look, he is winnowing barley in the threshing floor tonight. So you must wash and rub yourself with oil and put on your mantles. And go down to the threshing floor. Do not make yourself known to the men until he has finished eating and drinking. And it should occur that when he lies down, you must take note of the place where he lies down. And you must come and uncover his feet and lie down you and he. And he, for his part, he'll tell you what to do. That's right. He's going to tell you what to do. 
ladies and gentlemen, this was a common law ritual where the woman, knowing the man was interested in, went into his tent. He didn't go into hers, and she uncovered his feet. So let's, let me prove to you that this is a common law ritual, okay? At this, she said to her mother, all that you said to me, I will do, I shall do. And she proceeded to go down to the threshing floor and to do according to all that her mother-in-law had commanded her. Meantime, Boaz ate and drank, and his heart was feeling good, man, because he had so much to drink. You know, took it to the neck. Anyway, then he went to lie down at the extremity of the grain heap. After that, she came in stealthily and uncovered him at his feet and lay down. And it came about that at midnight he began to tremble, so he bent himself forward to look, and a woman was lying at his feet. Oh, no, you couldn't have that because that's fornication, especially if you didn't invite her. Then he said, Who are you? And in turn she says, I am Ruth, your slave girl, and you must spread your skirt over your slave girl, for you are a repurchaser. Oh, snap. All he had to do was just spread the skirt of his man over her, and that was it? And they were married? It's called a common law marriage. Sleeping in the same house. That's why there was such a big, huge stink over that during the 60s and 70s when people started living together. Yes, I know some of you are not old enough to remember all of the turmoil that was occurring when you had people being born out of wedlock. Yes, you remember that word now, don't you? And individuals shacking up together who were not married. How many problems that caused? Okay? Because individuals still had the concept of common law marriages. If you slept in the same house and you weren't married, you were considered to have been married at that point, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, they talk about common law comes from the courts. Well, common law marriages don't come from any court. They try to regulate it, try to tell you what's a common law marriage and what's not, what they consider a common law marriage to be and what they don't consider it to be. But common law marriages are not regulated by the courts. It was not based on the determination and decisions of the courts of Europe. Common law marriages was based upon scripture. It existed before Rome. It existed before the Britannia, which is what became Britain. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't let them lie to you and tell you that the common law that the people talked about when they hit Plymouth Rock. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking for something, and I'm, I'm just looking for somebody to send it to me. Okay, if... And let's give you guys a week. I'm looking for the prayer at Plymouth Rock. See, I can prove that the common law that the people believed in was not no common law of England. See, they what they want you to believe. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me, let me show you something. Oh, I'm waking up the dogs. Y'all need to stop me from doing that. Dogs don't need to be awakened. They, they got their rest. Uh, I think it's, is it this one? I think it might be this one. I don't know because I don't open so much. This is right here. Thus, the right of the king to control the economy was limited at common law. By a right, the right to work. It said the king could not control the economy because the people had the right to work. Ladies and gentlemen, you better go back and take a look at the king of England. His right was absolute. Whatever he did was absolute, especially when they were pope and king at the same time. That's why they could go ahead and kill people and burn them at the stake. That's why the people could sit up there and leave England because of the oppression. Let these fools sit up here and tell you guys that the king was limited, that it couldn't stop a person from working, that it had to adhere to some stupid principle of common law. Please, morons. That's what they do, ladies and gentlemen. They'll tell you anything and you'll believe it because you think they're the experts. Okay, now that's what you'll notice about me. I don't tell you what I think. I tell you what I know. Been doing this for too long. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I need is I need is I need is I need is I need us. I, 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 I need the prayer at Plymouth Rock. 
Some of you don't even know that such a thing exists. I need and want and ask if one of you can find me the prayer at Plymouth Rock. What you will notice is that in that prayer, those individuals who came to Plymouth Rock, the God they prayed to, his name was Jehovah. I'm very, very interested in that. Hey, this is a former Jehovah's Witness. Um, Roger Mosley uh, was a disfellowship Jehovah's Witness, but he's a former. That's why former Jehovah's Witness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do that. P. Did you get out of the way? I already know that. Now go on now. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it just keeps popping up. I'm not doing nothing to make it pop up, and it won't go. That's that Google stuff playing with me, trying to make me forget what I'm trying to type in. So let me uh, get back to here. <laughs> 